Hello and welcome to another Naughty Egg Draw. I'm Jake and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a dynamic superhero takeoff. Now dynamic poses and motions can be pretty difficult when you're first starting out so I'm going to try to keep it as simple as I possibly can by keeping it in a very small amount of frames. Now this idea of dynamic motion can be used in a lot of different ways other than just a superhero takeoff. It can be used for someone who's about to wind up and punch someone right in the face or someone who's about to start running. It's really about how the body acts right before a large motion happens. All right, well, let's get into the nitty gritty of this video, guys. So before I started animating, I made a model of what my character would look like. This is good practice to do because once you have your model, you always have something to reference your work off of. Now I always put mine in its own layer and I'll add an opacity to the layer so I can trace over the image. Now the tracing that I'm doing isn't going to be perfect because this is just going to be your animatic layer. Now, if you don't know what an animatic is, you should check out my video on how to make an animatic, and in that video I explain more in depth on what it is. But to sum it up, it's just essentially a rough animation that helps you get proportions and timing down. So what I start to do here is just add some anticipation by making his eyes go up and give the viewer some indication that he maybe sees something in the sky and that he might go up there and see what it is. So the first bit of motion isn't huge. You don't want it to start off with your motion in full strength. You want it to be a bit more subtle because this gives it a little bit more of a realistic sense of motion with your character. Now the second frame of motion is getting bigger with his arms coming out a bit and his knees coming out farther than they did in the last frame. Now make sure not to forget the motion of the cape and the hair, because if you make everything move in a more static, straight line motion, it's going to make everything look a bit more fake. Now with this one, it's a bit more of a dramatic motion, with his elbows coming out almost straight up, and this is going to be him at the bottom of his crouch. Now this next part is very important. What I did here is made the body come up just a little bit after he hits the bottom of his motion. Now this shows that the body isn't so static and just freezing at the end of each pose. It makes it a bit more dynamic when he has a little bit of a bounce to the motion and helps add suspense to what he is going to do next. You're always going to want to scrub through your timeline to see how smooth things are starting to look. Now I didn't add it here in the animatic, but you'll want to add that bounce right before he takes off as well, but in the opposite direction. You'll see me do this when I get to the cleanup later. Now this last bit of motion that you're going to be doing is going to rely heavily on the squash and stretch method. And for this one, you'll be stretching everything. Because he's a superhero, he'll be taking off at a very fast speed, and he's going to leave the stage very fast. So to help with the lack of frames, you're going to want to stretch the body to help fill the gap in for your eyes. Now once you have all the keyframes in, you're going to want to keep playing it over and over again, and keep adding frames throughout the timeline until you have the timing down just right between each motion. Now that I have all the timing down, I'm going to go to the layer and right click on it and go to properties. And then you're going to click transparency and choose the strength that you want it to be at. Remember the higher the number the transparency is, the more transparent it's going to be. I also like to right click and turn the layer into a guide. This will make it so when you render out the SWF file, it won't show this layer. Which is what we want since this is just going to be your guide layer for your final animation. Now at this point you're just going to be going much slower and starting to work on the final line work for your animation. Now remember to take your time at this part, because if you do rush it, it's going to be noticeable in the end. I know it can get a bit long at this point, but just throw on some music or an audiobook and get cracking away at it. Now I am splitting this video into two parts, because I really want to be able to break all this down more in depth without the video being 20 minutes long. The second video is going to be dealing with adding color and other effects to really give it a strong sense of takeoff. Now remember, we aren't forgetting the little things like the hair moving as he's going down or his cape following behind his motion. Or even just his eyes and where they're looking at each point. This helps to give a lot of depth to your animation. Also remember that the animatic is just a guide, so don't be scared to change the position of something or the proportions of things slightly compared to your animatic.
Now what I'm doing right here is just what I did at the beginning with his eyes and giving some anticipation to where he's going to be going next by shifting his eyes up. As you can see here, this is where he does the bounce again, so I actually copied the frame from where I did the bounce before and pasted it here. Then all I really did was shifted the eyes and changed how the hair was moving. Now that we're at the final set of frames, we're going to be doing the stretching. Now this can be done in many different ways. If I have a really fast motion, I personally like to add the motion lines by hand to the character and distorting it that way. And the faster the motion is, the more distortion you create. Alright, now that we're done, let's play it and I'll show you the breakdown of the animation. Alright, so now he looks up in anticipation, then starts his way down slowly and makes a bounce at the bottom. Then he looks up, giving the audience a sense of where he's going to go next, and then he's going to make a small bounce again and take off quickly, and then leaves the scene. And that's everything. Now you have to make sure you come to the next video to really see the outcome of this animation. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video till the end. I'm really hoping that I get to see some of your guys' superhero takeoffs, superhero runs, whatever it is that you guys make. So if you guys do make some animations, I'd absolutely love to see them. So you can either post them on the Naughty Egg Facebook page or the Twitter page. And if you guys like this video, make sure you smack that sub button, throw a like and a comment down below, and like always, keep drawing and until next time. Bye! Hi!